Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Welcome to Social Value Matters 2020, our first ever online global conference. This year, Social Value International have been thrilled to work with Social Value Canada to bring you this incredible conference over five days. We hope that you've enjoyed both the leadership summits and the practitioner summits and have found them all interesting so far. Please note that the session today has been pre-recorded by the fantastic speakers that we have. You can enjoy watching this session and below on the screen further down, there is a quick question box where you can ask questions. Please note that due to time differences, speakers will not always be able to answer your questions straight away, but please do check back because they will get back to you as soon as possible. Now, without further ado, we'll start today's session. I do hope you enjoyed the session and hope to see you soon at another one of our sessions. Thank you. Hello everyone, welcome to Social Value Matter 2020. This session is hosted by Social Value Thailand. I'm Dr. Santi Dham Prasad Skun, an advisory council of Social Value Thailand. Today, for a theme of the um, people, planet and power, we're going to talk about the role of Thai university and social value creation, a case study of Chulalongkorn University. Let's me be brief, Chulalongkorn University is the world top 100 university for the best academic reputation from the QS University ranking in 2021. Today, it's our honor to have two guest speakers from Chulalongkorn University. One is Dr. Grit, an assistant to the president for strategic system development and social engagement. Good morning, everyone. Sawadee Okay, and another guest is Dr. Tanasin, Associate Dean from Faculty of Communication Arts. Good morning, everyone. Okay. Dr. Grit will give us an overview of the university role in the social value creation, which is um, which they call the CU Engagement Project. And Dr. Tanasin will present the project called the Marching Bands that Chulalongkorn helps teachers and students in the rural area to develop their music skills. Let's start with the first guest, Dr. Grit. Let's start with the overview of the project of the social engagement that Chulalongkorn have done that we call the CU Social Engagement. Okay, what is the objective of this project? Okay, before I'm going to the detail of the CU Social Engagement project, I would like to, to draw the big picture. Of, of, of Thailand and uh, also the Chulalongkorn University. Uh, now Thailand is entering for Thailand 4.0. We shift from the uh, agriculture base in Thailand 1.0 to uh, the creativity and innovation smart Thailand and in Thailand 4.0 as, as shown in the screen. And, and you know uh, Thailand is, is the country that based on the agriculture and food and we are the kitchen of the world. And now the government pay attention to the BCG model, we call bio, circular, and clean economy. So uh, there is a disrupting to the university uh, in Thailand to contribute more on national development. So what we change is uh, we increase in the number of research and development project in university. Also, these projects are involved with innovation, uh, both in scientific and also the social innovation. We have a lot of startup in university, so uh, every faculty members and also staff now have a mindset of entrepreneurship, and also we have a lot of entrepreneurial uh, project done. And now we also pay attention to the national education lifting to the new standard both in curriculum and also teaching skill. And Chulalongkorn also involved with the flagship project we call EECI, Eastern Economic Corridor, with innovation and we, we have the, the project done in, in Chonburi province. Uh, in Thai University, basically we have four missions plus. The, the first mission is teaching and learning and uh, together with research and these two contribute to the academic services and all, all these uh, 
se sector involved in the cultural development and also the management. So for Chula Lungkorn, uh, under the second term of president, uh, our president have a new strategy we call three strategy to drive Chula Lungkorn into innovation for society. And the first strategy is the future leaders. The second one is the impactful research and innovation. And the third one is because sustainability. And these three have a milestone on the QS ranking. We, we uh, expect that in the year, four years, in next four years, we will enter the top 150 overall score in QS ranking. And also we have contribution on time higher impact SDG ranking. And we expect that we, we will be in the number three in Southeast Asia in this ranking. So every project is involved in these three strategies. And this uh, project of sustainability come up with the project called University Social Engagement. Uh, for University Social Engagement, we have many engagement. And starting from global engagement, we have a network with many, many uh, universities around the world. Uh, for example, APU, CEN, or APUSEN, with Asia Pacific University uh, contribution on, on engagement. And also the Engagement UK and in NCCPE, as Ajahn Win knows about that. We have also the alumni engagement and government and industrial engagement around Bangkok and also the provinces uh, nearby. And first of all, we, we have the, the number project involved in the community engagement, both internal and external. So the objectives of the university social engagement is first to promote the well-being and improve the quality of life for society as a whole within and also the outside university. Second, to integrate activity of staff, student, a government and private sector in faculty and school for the socio-economic impact and with the sustainability of society. We expect the outcome in many, many uh, terms. First one is we expect that to have the lesson learned and prototype and also the good practice for other community with the project we, we uh, carry on. And also we expect the contribution of the faculty, school, college and research institute in long-term counseling of community. We need to, to uh, convince community as to find a fish rather than we give the fish to them. Thirdly, we need uh, expected outcome of the culture of engagement practice uh, for network university and also the staff in university. And finally, we need the measurable better quality of life for society. This is the ultimate outcome for us. And uh, for the CU social engagement, we divide it into external and internal. For external, we have involved in the project done in many provinces around Thailand. And we have the project in Nan province in the northern Thailand, and also in Saraburi in the central Thailand. And we also the the center of uh, water resources in Kosishan and Chonburi province. And also many projects in, in Bangkok and the vicinity and annex of the main campus. Chulongkorn University have no campus, which is different from other university. We have the Center of Learning for Regions, we call CLR, based in Nan and also Salabuli, that can support uh, infrastructure support for a faculty school, college, and research institute to follow the carry on the project. And also we have the internal uh, engagement for staff and students with the help of the property management of Chulalongkorn University, or we call PMCU, as well as the UniSearch as a, uh, a setting of the project done 
for engagement and also the academic services. And the basic criteria for university community engagement for a project that, that we, we approve to, to carry on is first one, we need a partnership. This partnership is involved with the demand driven. Uh, we, we have to explore the need of the society before uh, doing the project. And this partnership is equal. And the project has to be done with the mutual benefit. So every sector has gained more, we call win-win situation for all, like university, the staff, and also the so, uh, society or community, and also the government or private sector. Third, we need to do the knowledge and create knowledge and scholarship. And this outcome can be promoted in every terms. And finally, a very important one is the measurable social impact that we need to find the tools or measure to, to uh, make sure that the project is done with the impact for society. Okay, I like the idea and the strategy of the CU social engagement very much and I think um, I love the concept of the mutual benefit that what you say because um, it helps uh, people in the area and also help the uh, many people who engage in the society, right? Yes. And um, you have to structure a more co collaboration and uh, partnership as well yes. that um, make the project successful, right? right? And I think it's not only engage um, the community, but mm -hmm. also help the university ranking as well yes. from this yes. project. Yes. It's very interesting very much. And okay, for the next question, I. Uh, when did the project start and how many projects are in total? Okay, thank you. Uh, actually, the, this project started in 2010, 10 years ago, but with different names. We, we call, at the, at the beginning, we, we start with the, we call one functional unit, one community, or we call OFOC, O-F-O-C, which uh, we convince uh, faculty and also the school and also the college to create a project with the community. But in that, that time, uh, we, we still uh, don't uh, follow that, that criteria much. But uh, from uh, president, our, our president, current president, we, we have created a project that try to make it more impact on society. And the number of projects from uh, four years back, and from starting 2016 to present 2020, we have around 53 projects. But in this line, we will count only on 2018 to 2019. In the green column is the 2018, and the yellow column is 2019. In different areas, from none in the red uh, bullet, and the uh, Sarabuli in the green, and also the Sichang in the blue, and also the, the Bangkok in the, the yellow. You, you see that uh, the most important project done, explore in, in the three areas, in Nan, Sarabuli, and, and Sichang Islands. And together, it's around 10 to 11 projects. Okay. For now, we, we have many, many projects done in the province. And, and now we have the MOU with, with Nan province. And, and uh, the mayor of, of Nan also signed this MOU already. We have an interesting professional extension and promotion to replace the corn field. You know, in Nan province, they have the contract farming of the big company to grow corn for, for uh, animal consumption and also for human consum consumption. But uh, they, they use a lot of, uh, we call chemical reagent, chemical fertilizer, and these have the impact on the, the environment and also the everything in, in Nan, also the foresty. Uh, it's, it's down a lot in, in, in Nan province. We used to have a, a big land, a big trees in Nan. So we, we started this project with uh, we call artificial insemination in pigs or in swine. Uh, we we starting this uh, project in in about eight years ago, and and we explore in in increase the piglet number of of the people in Nan, the farmer can increase the number. They used to have a conventional, uh, we call insemination, using a ball, 
to to make uh, the baby pigs. Uh, if if we, we create the artificial insemination, we we can increase the number of piglet to more than twenty one thousand piglet in in three years, and we expect that that create the economic impact about seventeen million baht for the for the province. The second one is a uh, land is is the the land that is is good for for uh, farming. I think it's it. For organic farming way, and we explore all on the management of the ester for flood management. Nan is a, is the top uh, province that that have a big river. We call Nan River, which contribute to Changpaya River. And every years at around August and September, they always have flood in in the bank uh, nearby the the bank of the the river. So we create a project that uh, help the people in Nan, in the Amper Mueang Nan, to prevent and protect from their property or from the flood. Uh, I I chip to Sabri. Sabri is uh, the central uh, Thailand, and is not far away from from Bangkok. We have also the MOU with Sabri. Salaburi province, and we start the project called Salaburi Smart Daily Farms for the better life of daily farmers, which uh, originated by the Faculty of Veterinary Science to to drive the Salaburi Smart Daily Farming, and this can create more impact on the the eco economic impact on the the income of the daily farmer. Apart from the um, the dairy, we have also the goat milk platform. Throughout the supply chain, we we starting from convince and and educate the farmers, and also the manufacturer, and and finally we we are contact with the entrepreneur, to to create the market, and you know Jula have the 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 market uh, online, already, and we we have this sale uh, the gold new sale, in the in the in the market around. Thailand and Bangkok. Apart from the the agriculture, we also have the educational development, and uh, we have the youth and high school student in higher education. The project on music and marching bands, which Atan Tanasin will will uh, explain explain more on on detail. Okay, and and we also the the school network on the hybrid teaching skill development. And also the non-formal and informal education for the school in in Salaburi. Uh, shift to the uh, Sichang Islands. This Sichang Island need the need is also on the carrier development because they are nearby the sea. So everything involved with the resources in the sea, uh, they need us to be the co uh, con consultant. So we have the institute, the research institute there, as at the hub for for education on the fish source production, and and uh, fish nurture on the sea base is very high uh, value fish, as, as you can see in 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 the, the screen, and also we have the sea seafood processing, is is very high demand for people there in Kosichan because they they sell a lot for tourists. And and we have a seaweed production. Uh, apart from this carrier development, we also uh, have uh, also the tourist uh, education. For Bangkok, we have a good project on Jula Health Street, done by the College of Public Health Science, and we call uh, in Thai we call Ban Sukha. Uh, uh, we we have involved with the annex for the people nearby the main campus to be uh, tested for for their health, and we can promote the health uh, for individual and as a group. And Jurongkorn also contribute as a chairperson in university networking we call AUNHPN with uh, Sinakrin Viro University, Ho Chi Minh Chiang Kai Shek. Large Mangkala University of Technology in Bangkok, Sunset University, and also Mubang Jombung Large Part University. 
and we we have a project involved with the area of healthy university, and based on the thematic area, to reduce to zero tolerance area. Uh, for example, the sexual harassment, bullying, and violence, and road safety viola violation, including the the helmet use. We have the health promotion area on health literacy, and also the mental well-being. Jurong Gon have the wellness center for mental health counseling for both student and university staff, and we we done it for a few years already, and with a good response and and, and uh, high impact. We also have a project for for internal staff, for example for hazardous PM two point five, and we have a project on for clean air for CU, and also the the we have the report on the number of level of PM 2.5 in university in, in the spot around university. And this PM 2.5 we also uh, contribute to Salaburi province and convince them to, to set the, the, the number of, of project there. We have the zero traffic accident project and also every project done by staff, faculty members and also student and alumni, as I mentioned before. Thank you very much. Okay, so um, many projects have done successfully yes. in many provinces, yeah. And you not only help just uh, people in the rural area, but also in the urban area, yes. like in the right. city. Subway, yeah, yeah. City. Uh, it's very interesting. And not only the students or teacher, but you also engage to the farmers yes. in uh, Nan province, yes. yeah, and also the fishermen in yeah. the Sichuan Island, yeah. So the project is very interesting, and I heard that you use the um, social return on investment or SRI yes. as a tool for evaluation the yes. project. Yes. Why do you use these tools yes. for evaluation? Yes. Interesting question. Thank you. Uh, I think the SRI or social return on investment is very important because uh, we have a limited budget, mm -hmm. so we will try to to make it more impact mm -hmm. on investment. So you don't know if the, you don't have tools or measure. So if, if we use these tools, we we know read briefly about the project. Mm -hmm. uh, we call the pre mm -hmm. and post analysis. Mm -hmm. For P analysis, we, we, we can analyze the, the possibility mm -hmm. that we, we can approve for the, the, the next project mm. done. Uh, if, if it works, mm -hmm. we, we can explore more in, in more detail. Or uh, even the project that we done a few years ago, we, we have a social value Thailand to help us mm -hmm. to at least you evaluate mm -hmm. a few projects before. Mm -hmm. So we, we, we have a value. Of, of that project mm. and now we know that oh this project worth mm -hmm. to more uh, invest mm -hmm. and also this can create a more project to fit in with uh -huh. our objective ah. of university okay, okay nice okay so this is like a um, uh, measurement for giving a grant to yes. the, um, yes. the leader of the project right yes. yeah basically and we have around uh, I think 10,000 US dollar ah. Uh, uh -huh. uh, average, oh, average. Okay. Or some project may, may have more than that, like uh -huh. fifteen thousand. Oh, right. So overall budget we have around five million baht, or, uh -huh. or maybe about uh, hundred thousand okay. US dollar. Wow. Yeah. Mm, okay. Interesting. Not 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 plenty compared uh -huh. to other university. Yeah, but but I think it's a lot, and and I think you um you you put many effort to help to uh, the social value for yeah. the, um, yes. for for the society right. because um, um actually the role of the university normally they just only teach the students exactly. but you don't think that just only teaching but yeah. you gonna engage them and then help them create better social value yes so that's why you yes. put a lot of money on on the project right. okay after you use these um, tools or the SRI evaluation um what are the advantages and or how do you plan to develop the project further? Yes, um, uh, from, from now on four years, mm -hmm. uh, we, we have a new project mm -hmm. for a link with uh, sustainability mm -hmm. SDG ranking. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. also we, we need to make it more impact on economy. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. As you know that for COVID-19, we have uh, even less the limited budget uh, only. Yeah. So we have to we have to pick some budget. Uh -huh. You know, uh, last four year we have 53. Uh -huh. So from now on, we may be explore for 10 yeah. or less than 10 for four years. Oh. So we need to make more impact. Uh -huh. So yeah. SROI will help us mm. to as a guidance yeah. to 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 indicate yeah. the project. Yeah. Mm, yeah, good point. Okay. Okay. So I think um, we got an overview of the project that called the CU Social Engagement from the Chulalongkorn University. And I'm going to move to Dr. Tanasin, who have done the project called the Marching Bands in the Salaburi province. Uh, he will give us more detail about this project and that how Chulalongkorn University created the social value in the rural area. Okay, let's move to Dr. Tanasin. Okay, Dr. Tanasin, mm -hmm. can you give me an overview of the uh, marching band project and why this project has been created? Okay, before we go deeply in the details of the project, I would like to give you some brief introduction about the Salaburi province. So as you know, Salaburi province is the passageway between the central part of Thailand to the northeastern part of Thailand and of course this province is an industrialized province it has a lot of factories in this province and according to this um, many labor yes, um, came from many other province and of course they bring their children with them so the children have to adapt themselves with the new environment in this area so the school um, become a safe place for them to adapt themselves but many of them cannot adapt themselves with the new environment so it caused a lot of many problems mm -hmm. such as drugs, mm -hmm. pregnant, mm -hmm. um, criminal and so on so we have to find out that how to help them adapt themselves and to the new environment and of course um, they has a lot of free time um, apart from their study so we have to find the best way that they can use their free time effectively mm -hmm. okay and this project is not start alone okay um, the name of the project is the F the establishment of marching band academic center mm -hmm. okay in secondary school in Salaburi province mm -hmm. and this project come with another project mm -hmm. which are love nation love monarchy love homeland and love community project or we call it for love mm -hmm. okay and the the for love project concerned about the increasing the academic skill for the student and the marching band project focus on the life skill mm. okay so um we concern in a different mm. aspect ah, yeah. so this project come from the mm. project of the four loves yep. which are the love nations love monarchy monarchy yep. love homeland homelands and love community love community okay lovely okay. okay and then could you tell us more about the details of the marching band projects okay uh, as i mentioned that the marching band project um has the objective that mm -hmm. how we can help um the children to use their free time effectively mm -hmm. okay so this project um create a lot of activity that relate to the music mm -hmm. okay um at first the faculty of psychology ha um did the survey from in uh, from um, with the school in that area mm -hmm. and the result is quite interesting because the music is the uh, most popular topic mm -hmm. that students want to study mm -hmm. oh so um when we created this project, we choose the music mm -hmm. as the tool to help them to use their free time effectively and usefully. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the objective of this project is to enhance the opportunity for them to admission to the 
university. Mm. Okay. Along with that, we try to increasing their social immunity. Okay, to face the fact or to face the problem in the society. Mm. Yeah. So this is the two main objectives of mm. this project. Okay, so it's very interesting because mm. you start with the surveying method. Yep. You survey with the, the requirement of the people in the area what they want, yep. and they say that they they would like to learn about the music. Mm -hmm. This is very interesting because you put the right thing into the right people, right? Yeah. Okay. Yes, because um, we think that the need of um the people in that area is might different from uh -huh. others area so yeah. we, we should find what yeah. they want yeah. Yeah. very good very good and i love the word you say the social immunity so yeah. so can can you can you explain more about the social immunity you okay mentioned? okay well um when they move to uh -huh. the new environment, uh -huh. they face a lot of problem about adaptation. Uh -huh. They have new friends. Yeah. They have like new home. Yeah. Yeah, they have new teacher and mm -hmm. also the new school. Mm -hmm. So if they can't, if they can't adapt themselves mm -hmm. to fit mm -hmm. with the new mm -hmm. environment, so mm -hmm. they face a lot of problem, mm -hmm. which infect, yeah. which which um affect the society. Mm -hmm. So we have to create them to increase yeah. their inner feeling. Yeah. Yeah. To mm -hmm. to to strengthen yeah. their mind. Like a yeah. vaccine yeah. that immune yeah. them about to protect the yeah. uh, environment that strange from um, the, uh, that different from the the, the, the oldest place yes, like like right. that. Uh, that's interesting. And um how does the project um work? Uh, about uh, the process and um, how you how you teach them or how you um, done this project. Okay, um, this project is funded by uh -huh. CU Social Engagement. Ah, right. Yeah, and the head of project is Dr. Yutana. Uh -huh. He is the assistant to the president uh -huh. of Jalangon University, and his expertise is music education. Mm. So he believed that music is um, vital to to develop the student mm. to develop the human beings mm -hmm. so um this project he used the music as transportation mm. to help the student um to uh, increase their discipline yeah and increase their patience and so on so um we use the cu alumni network mm. yes who is graduated um, from the Faculty of Education in Music Education and most of them are the, the expert in mm -hmm. the marching band mm -hmm. so they, we use them to be a teacher mm -hmm. of the student in the school mm -hmm. in Salaburi province so um, we went to the school uh, like every week mm -hmm. yeah, to train them about the music skill yes and Apart from that, we train them the way of the marching band. Mm. Uh, it means that we train them um, both the marching, mm -hmm. yeah, for or the display mm -hmm. and so on. Mm -hmm. And we train them in many ways of the marching band training. Mm. Yes. Um, apart from that, we taught them a lot of songs. Mm -hmm. Yes, such as the ceremony song. Mm -hmm. um, the um like the classical song mm -hmm. yes and also the song which composed by king rama the nice mm -hmm. yes as well so um we train them directly mm -hmm. um face to face communication mm -hmm. to help them to understand that what is the right thing uh -huh. what is the best way to practice the music, how to hold the instrument correctly, mm -hmm. and so on. Mm. What, yeah. what, what question just popped up in my mind mm. is about why teacher in the school cannot teach students? Why should be an alumni from Chulalongkorn University? Okay, in fact, um, the, the uh, teacher in the school, okay, I, mm. I will start like this. In Thailand, we lack of teachers mm. who train directly mm -hmm. in that discipline or in the course yeah, yeah mm -hmm. um in in the school mm -hmm. especially for the rural area mm -hmm. so in Rung Rian Gang Khoi or Gang Khoi school mm -hmm. he ha they has just only two 
music teacher. Oh. Okay, so they 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 can't um teach a lot of students. Uh -huh. So they need um the expert. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, to teach, to use their specific knowledge, mm -hmm. yeah, to to um, transmit mm -hmm. to the student. Mm -hmm. So, um, in faculty of education, we have the music education mm -hmm. ma major mm -hmm. and oh, and both the bachelor and master degree. Mm -hmm. So they are they um so the CU alumni are well trained uh -huh. yeah so they are ready to transmit their knowledge and most of them are the teacher mm. in Bangkok, in Bangkok yeah, yeah. Mm, okay so um because like they have a limit of the teacher in yeah. the school and I suppose that one teacher just only know one like a music instrument or maybe two but marching band we have to know a lot of the music instrument yes, right that, yeah uh -huh. that's why we use our alumni yeah. yes we put like five or six experts uh -huh. with each instrument uh -huh. into the school uh -huh. and and this is your own expert and i mean the expertise of the Jula Logon university yeah. as well because um this from the faculty of the education, education yes. that they are focused in the music education uh, yeah music education that great okay so and what were the expectation you want um that you want to meet in, in, in this project, what what your expectations? Okay, firstly, we want them to use their free time mm. effectively. Effectively, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. in Saturday and Sunday, um, they should not go to um ride the motorcycle yeah. and racing in mm -hmm. the street. So okay, yes, how okay uh -huh. go to school yeah. and then we practice. We use yeah. the music to mm -hmm. help them um. Um, use their free time effectively. Uh -huh. Apart from that, we think that if we can provide the opportunity for them to yeah. enter to the university, mm -hmm. so um, we should do that because many students in the rural area they lack mm -hmm. of opportunity. Mm -hmm. So that's why we are trying our best to help them prepare themselves. So if you want to study in like the music college so mm -hmm. okay we will give you mm -hmm. both the knowledge about the theory yeah. and also the practice as well okay, okay. so there are a lot of outcomes that happens to the students and do you find any unintended outcomes from this um, project okay um, many of them become a good musician wow yeah mm -hmm. um they improve their music skill uh -huh. a lot if, up, up, after they join our project uh -huh. and apart from that um they um be like more patient yeah, yeah and have more discipline mm -hmm. okay then when they went back home okay they can like manage their mm. uh, their own life mm. because um the matching band method um mm -hmm. forced them to know that what is the dis discipline mm. yeah because they have to work with the many people, people in yes, the bands yes. yeah mm. well, interesting yes, and, and apart from that um last year yeah we have like four students mm -hmm. can enter the university in the mm. music college oh this yeah. is an uh, an intended outcome yeah. Yeah, because yeah. we didn't expect we didn't going to train them for going yeah. to the university yeah. but in this in this case when they participate in our project yeah. so they have more skills and they they can enter to the university later oh I think it's a very very important outcome that happens there yeah, for, for for the project very good okay mm -hmm. and I heard that your project also use the SROI or social return on investment as mm -hmm. a tool for evaluation as well could you mm -hmm. give me um, a short brief why you use these two as a evaluation method okay for the evaluation as you know um, many evaluation method concern mm -hmm. about the number on mm. the paper mm. but um SROI concern about human mm -hmm. so um we have to find out that um what is the difference between the um our samples mm. in in each um area mm. so they they have like their own 
um, uniqueness they have their own um, like like what they want mm -hmm. which is different with each other so the SROI gave us a lot in information mm -hmm. to manage and plan mm -hmm. the project that will be suit them mm -hmm. a lot mm -hmm. yeah so SROI is quite important yeah mm. Oh, good, good. And and after the SRI evaluation, what do you plan for uh, develop the project further? I mean that you use uh, finding of the SRI and you see any point that you can uh, develop this project in the future? Okay, for the matching band project, mm -hmm. we started since 2015. Yep. Yes, and now it's like five, five years, years already yeah. mm -hmm. so we are going to establish the new academic center Whoa. in another school mm -hmm. so SROI help us to plan mm -hmm. the stake who's the stakeholder mm -hmm. which stakeholder is related mm -hmm. to um, our new project mm -hmm. and we can um, find out we can figure out that which type of academic center mm -hmm. will gonna fit with the with that context with that um area mm. yeah so SRI is quite important okay well wow, perfect okay so you plan to set up a new academic center, center. it means that you're gonna expand this idea to yep. another another areas another yep. school and you can like develop more students to have um like a music skills mm -hmm. in, in in this from this project okay good all right i think we have um a detail of this project and then we know that how jula longkorn create the social value in the area called salaburi province mm -hmm. that can help students um in the area who come from the other place yeah and then um you have to put them like a social immunity to them. This is a key of mm -hmm. this project. So it's very interesting. Thank you very much, Thank Dr. Tanasin, so for the details. Okay, as a role of the um, advisory council from the Social Value Thailand that I involved in the evaluation of this project, I can confirm that I can confirm, Dr. Tanasin, that this um, project create a lot of social value because in the process of the um, evaluation in this project um, I find two main stakeholders which are the main group of the target is the students and the teachers in the uh, school in the Salaburi province and also um, Tulalongkorn University um, who is the funder of this project this is the two key stakeholders in this um, projects and we measure the outcomes of the social value in five dimensions. The first one is the skills and innovation. The second is the social and the relationship. The third is the economic and financial. And the fourth is the environment and community. And the last one is about the well-being and the body mind. From the slide, you can see that um, the main target group, they um, got the well-being and body mind about 31.2 percent about the value that they get from this project which is a large portion compared to the other dimension and the second one is about the social and relation and relationship that they get from this project which is a 20.7 percent of the um of the uh compared to the other and Next is about the uh, economic and financial as Dr. Tanasin mentioned that the students can go to have jobs um, after they have more skills in the music and then they can earn some money um, about playing music and from Jula Lungkong University um, they earn a lot of about the well-being which is the 68.5 percent in the proportion and the next is the SR evaluation that we obtain from this project is about 5.08 so um, this is come from the total input about 88,000 US dollar um, which is a large portion is come from the Jula Longkorn University about 67.4% and the rest is from the target group that like um, they have to 
uh, put more money about the transportation cost when they're going to the school for practice in the weekends and for the total outcomes um, that created from this project is about uh, 620 thousand uh, dollars um, this value they are going to the main target group about 80.5 percent and after we adjust the impact so the total outcome is gonna be 447 thousands US dollar so the main target group also earned this um, uh, outcome and um, this is uh, all the SRI evaluation of the project that we call the marching bands and the recommendation that we got from this um, SRI evaluation is about in the way of teaching the respondents um, who involved in the uh, this project they asked for the frequency of the teaching and learning to help them um, more um, develop more knowledge and the skill and abilities of the music of the music because um, they just uh, because Salabuli is uh, uh, actually is about 200 kilometers from Bangkok so Chulalongkorn go to there like um, every week um, so if it's possible they would like to ask more um, um, frequency that Chulalongkorn go to train them, training them and also um, for the they also ask for the instrument because um, in the lo rural area they have some limited budget so it's, if it's possible they gonna ask for the musician instrument that can help students um, increase their abilities in the, in the in the music and we also find that the value that come from this project is um, from um, they can extend the model to the other and many schools would like to join this um, project and also the teacher or uh, professor from July Longkorn University can create the textbook that can teach the student if the July Longkorn left from the, uni uh, from the schools so the teacher in the uh, the school can learn from the textbook that Chula Lungkorn University create for them. So this is about um, the summarize of the um, the summary of the SROI evaluation that I involved in this project. Okay. Before we finish this session, I have two more questions to ask both of you again. Um, the first one, could you please summarize again about how important of the social value is of the bit? To my view, I think uh, social values is uh, one of the key explanations for branding. Uh, the organization that contribute and pay attention to social value will gain more respect and also the, the cite citation for the society. And I think Jula doing everything for society. Okay, thank you. And what about you, Dr. Tanasi? Yes, so in my opinion, I think that social value is very important. Yes, and um, as you know that people are different and um, okay, and people are different and like we have to know about our stakeholder mm -hmm. deeply so we can figure out that mm -hmm. which pattern, which format, which the solution is suit them more effectively. Mm -hmm. So I think that social value is the answer. Okay, good. And the next question is um, from your role. What do you think should be promoted to help the society better? Uh, for my view, uh, I'm responsible for executive uh, contribution for the university. So I think I will support uh, financially and also uh, by everything that mm. can help faculty and also school, also the institute to, to follow on and create more uh, social value for society. Mm, okay. okay. And you? Okay. As a faculty member, mm -hmm. I think that the concept of social values is important. So I might add this concept into my course mm -hmm. for my student. Oh. Uh, apart mm -hmm. from that, I will create the network between the higher education institution with um, the private and public mm -hmm. organization. So 
we will empower the society mm -hmm. together. Well, okay, thank you very much. So I think today we understand more about the role of the university in creating the social value to the society and we have an impressive case study that we can learn from Jula Longkorn University or Jula. Okay, and if you have any questions about um, the social value and the uh, activity that Jula Longkorn have done so far, so you can leave a message on the chat box. Please come to join us. Okay, and uh, I think for this session is now ended and thank you very much for joining us today. Goodbye. I hope you enjoyed today's session at Social Value Matters 2020. Once again, if you do have any questions for the speakers on today's session, please do ask the questions below in the box and the speakers will get back to you as soon as they possibly can. On behalf of everybody at Social Value International and Social Value Canada, I just want to thank all of the speakers for the incredible sessions that they've done today and all of you for attending. We hope that you find the rest of this week's conference as interesting as you found today and it will see you soon at another one of the events.